Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, another episode, uh, another video of Davy V TV. And uh, if you've been following along and keeping up with my updates about the arrest of two 16-year-olds in the murder of 71-year-old Richard Siasha, who was uh, executed, shot uh, earlier this month in an attempted carjacking in Gates, New York, just outside Rochester, New York, then you probably know by now, you're watching right now, um, this is 16-year-old Anthony Jacobs, and he turned himself in yesterday to Gates, New York police with his mommy. How nice. Look at his mommy there smoking a cigarette. Um, nothing gangster about him here. It's not too gangster to get a ride from your mom to turn yourself in um, for the execution of an innocent man uh, whose life was taken in just one of the most disgusting and just senseless uh, acts of violence that I can recall. Um, but anyways, I wanted to, uh, like I said, I've been doing updates and I have several videos, including uh, including of this right here of him turning himself in yesterday, uh, again, 16-year-old Anthony Jacobs. Who, by the way, we'll get to this in a minute, but who, by the way, uh, was hiding out. Again, nothing gangster about that. It's funny how tough these cowards can be when they take someone's, uh, you know, an innocent person's life like they did with Richard Siasha, who was, by the way, actually on his way to go see his son the day he was shot and killed. Um Again, completely just senseless and, and just absolutely disgusting. But it's funny how these cowards can be all tough, um, but then they get a ride from their mom, you know, like a straight pussy, just like a straight bitch. And, and, and I'm sorry, you know what I mean? I, I apologize in an earlier video for saying uh, curse words, and I normally don't curse as much. But really, you know, apart from making these videos, um, these cases really affect affect me. I got to be honest. I mean, you know what I mean? For me, it was just really, really, really just disgusting, as well as something that we'll talk in a minute, uh, the lack of outrage that there was in the community. And again, I'll touch on that uh, subject there in a second. But what I wanted to talk about is uh, what the title of the video says. The smiles say it all. And what I mean is, uh, you're looking now at the mugshot of Anthony Jacobs. This was taken uh, yesterday when he turned himself in with his mommy to the Gates, New York Police Department. And, you know, you could see it in the smile. You could just see it right on his face, the smirk, the very slight uh, but very noticeable, too, uh, smile and almost like a sense of pride. Uh, yep. That's exactly what it is. There's almost this, yeah, you know what I mean? I did it. Uh, look at me. You know, I'm here. You know, I'm 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 on the news. I'm going to be on the news. You know, this photo, you know, I'm, I'm proud of what I did. It's got all of that. It's got all of that written all over it. And if you think it's just a coincidence, okay, or say, well, you know, I'm not sure. You know, maybe he was just, I don't know. Well, then take a look at this photo. This is 16-year-old Edgar Tolentino. Now, Edgar Tolentino was even more proud of his, you know, involvement in this murder, this senseless murder, because look at him. Now, he, <laughs> his is more, even more obvious, right? There's just the look in the eyes, obviously the smile, and like I said, like the video says, the smiles say it all, and you know, it, it, it's, it's crazy because it really hasn't hit these two fucking cowards yet, um, you know, they're being held, by the way, at the Monroe County, uh, New York Children's Detention Center because uh, they're still, you know, under whatever, 17 or 18 or whatever the law is, but they're 16, obviously, but I think uh, they for for them to be held in the actual jail downtown Monroe County Jail, Monroe County New York Jail, they have to be uh, I believe seventeen or eighteen. So they're just below the threshold to be in the in the you know regular jail. But 
make no mistake about it. They both have been charged with second degree murder. Uh, there may be other charges. There's actually going to be a press conference uh, Monday morning. Um, we'll update that as it happens. But, you know, they will be tried as adults. That's already been said. So, you know, eventually at some point it will hit them. And those smiles and whatever sense of pride they feel for taking an innocent man's life will that will be gone. You know what I mean? It, it, it obviously just still hasn't hit them yet. But again, I just thought it was kind of, uh, you know, like, you know, it, it shows, you know, there's nothing gangster about having your mom <laughs> drive you to the police station to turn yourself in. And obviously there's nothing gangster about taking an innocent man's life. Um, you know, when I was growing up, uh, actually in the same neighborhood that Anthony Jacobs hung out in, you know, J Street, Child Street. I grew up on Child Street, and there was always crime, but there was just a certain code, and there was a certain line that you don't cross, and a certain respect for uh, for older folks. And these two fucking cowards here, these punks, they crossed that line. They violated, is what it is. They violated a certain, a certain set of rules and, and a certain code. And, uh, you know, they'll, and they'll pay for that. They'll pay for that. And again, it just, it just hasn't hit them yet. Um, it has not hit them yet. The other thing, like I mentioned a, a bit ago, I wanted to touch on is the lack of outrage that there was, you know, uh, 16 year old Anthony Jacobs was hiding out for several weeks and, you know, I'm pretty sure the police will find out if, you know, they had any or he had any assistance or either of them had any assistance. Uh, but Edgar Tolentino has been in custody for a while. But Anthony Jacobs, you know, he was hiding out. It is believed to be he was, you know, possibly getting help from somebody, from people. And the lack of outreach that there was. For one, Rochester, New York, Mayor Lovely Warren was nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be heard from, which is usual with her. It's, 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 it's her ebo. But, you know, she needed to have come as the leader, right? As the elected official and the highest uh, elected official in the city. You know, she runs the city, right? She governs over the city. And as a mayor... You know, she should have come out and basically denounced this and and demanded that, you know, he turn himself in, uh, you know, way sooner than he did. Um, also, where were all these so-called reverends and pastors and, you know, where were they? You know, they never have any problem getting themselves in front of the TV cameras, but they were nowhere to be seen or heard from denouncing this. They're now seeing not only this senseless act and, and taking this innocent man's life, but also, um, I mentioned earlier, Richard Siasha was on his way to visit his son when he was executed. But where were the, where was the outrage? You know what I mean? Where were these pastors and these reverends and these city officials not only denouncing, but demanding that Anthony Jacobs turn himself in? Um, and I, and I, I really noticed that and, and that would, to me was just disgusting. So, but again, the smiles, it's obvious it hasn't hit them yet and it will, you know, uh, stay tuned for more updates. Thank you for watching Davey V TV.